Uh, Tulsa is coming off an open week, and the Golden Hurricane is in action this Saturday against Texas State at Chapman Stadium. That will be an 8 p.m. Eastern time start on ESPN News. Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you tell us how your oh, how your open week went, uh, I know it, basically everybody likes to say that their team got better in the open week. Hope that's the case with you. you just give <laughs> us a recap of your open week and let us know what you expect to see uh, as you get ready for Texas State on Saturday, please. Absolutely, appreciate the opportunity. Uh, uh, we did uh, take advantage of our our bye week and uh, had three very productive and and uh, physically demanding practices uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Our players enjoyed a, a little time off on on Friday afternoon and and all day Saturday. We came back yesterday and had a had a good workout. We think it's really important for a young football team uh, such as ourselves to to continue to grow each week and to get better. We felt like that we made a lot of improvement. Uh, attitude has been uh, exceptional. Our our players are very committed to to trying to to grow and to work their work their way out of. Uh, you know, our our past and into a positive future. So I've I've been very pleased with the way they've responded. Uh anything coach on Texas State specifically? Texas State's a good football team. Uh they're very well coached. Dennis Franchoni is uh certainly is is one of the guys that uh has has uh paid his dues and has proven over and over again the the way that he can uh build a program. Uh they're certainly in a in a building phase. Uh in terms of what they've done um, moving up into the FBS program the last couple of years, and, and they've played very well uh, coming off of a, of a good winning season a year ago. And, and uh, we're just a hair away from uh, beating Illinois uh, in Champaign last week and uh, lost that game late in the uh, – had a big lead – or had a lead most of the game and lost that game late in the fourth quarter. So um, they're, they're one and two, but I think a very good football team. We'll take questions for Coach Blankenship, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. We'll take our first question from Dan Tortor with Dan Tortor Broadcast Media. Hey, Coach, how you doing today? I'm well, Dan. Thank you. I wanted to uh, I wanted to start with you here. I know you were talking about moving into a more positive future, and obviously had two losses before the break. And you talked a little bit about Texas State, but. Um, leadership-wise on the team, offense, defense, special teams, where are you really seeing guys step up right now? And with this week that you had to kind of get back to it and, and get back to what you know you want to do, where have you really seen people step up from as far as some of those leaders? Interesting question. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, the uh, the thing that that we had to do is is really kind of recalibrate, especially for me, because as I looked at our leadership, I saw guys like. Trent Martin, who's our our middle linebacker, Derek Alexander, who starts at defensive end, Garrett Stafford, our left tackle on offense, uh, Dane Evans at quarterback, and and one of the things that that it, it hit me as we began to reevaluate is I probably see them in a different light than than the reality of it, and uh, I see those guys as veteran players, and and they're in reality they've been starting. This is their second year, and some of them don't even have double digit starts yet, so. Part of the process for me is is uh, helping those young men that are leading our team uh, to to not make the assumptions that they you know know how to travel, know how to do all the different things that we have to do to become a really good football team. But uh, leadership has been fabulous. I'm talking about from the players. Uh, they've done a great job of mentoring our younger players, and uh, you know we're just. Uh, we're just uh, I I'm excited because I don't think we've come close to playing our best best football yet. When you look at you know that excitement of saying you know you haven't played your best football yet, mm-hmm. how do you define what Tulsa football is right now as far as your mission statement and what you're really trying to get to? Well, what we talk about is uh, as a program we talk about winning every day. We think it's important that that uh, victorious. Uh, way of living is more than just what we get on Saturdays. Now, it also should be defined as winning on Saturdays as well. Uh, but I don't think you get to the Saturday wins if you don't win on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday uh, in preparation and how we go about our business in the classroom and, and in the community. So from that standpoint, this group is really uh, embracing the challenge. They, they're embracing what we stand for and what we're asking them to do. And, and so that's been very positive. Uh, 
uh, I do think we're a talented young group, and um, I, I do uh, feel very strongly that uh, we're going to see this this team blossom as the year moves on. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Do you have any other questions for Coach Blankenship, please? Coach, thank you for your time today. Look forward to talking to you again next Monday.